All right, we now have a domain name, we have a host, and we've pointed our domain name to our host. We're ready to get rolling with our new website. And the next step really is to uh, log into the back end or the controlling end of your website. This doesn't have anything to do with Joomla yet, but you do have a control panel now at your new website. And this control panel allows you to do a variety of uh, tasks behind the scenes of your website. So let's go ahead and log into that. Even though your domain name <clears throat> may still not be working, it may still be resolving or propagating throughout the uh, internet around the world, and it may take uh, three or four hours, sometimes uh, 24 and even, they just to be very conservative, say sometimes 48 hours. Um, <clears throat> but you can still go ahead and get, get uh, working with your uh, with new website. Let's go back to our email, our welcome email from Pacific Host or whatever host uh, you decided to go with should have sent you a welcome email. And uh, one of the things in that welcome email should be uh, how to log into your control panel or your cPanel. So let's search for that. Uh, here it is under step two in the uh, Pacific Host welcome email. Now, if your domain name is resolving, uh, you can always log into your cPanel by typing out your website address and then put a slash and cPanel. If your website uh, domain name is not yet resolving, you can still go ahead and get into cPanel <clears throat> by typing in your IP uh, address and slash cPanel, or just click on the link in your welcome email. Now, you might want to, before you click on it, uh, take a look at uh, the next line here, where, where's my login info, and maybe just get a pen and paper and write this down. Pacific Host or your host has provided you with a username, a temporary username and password for you to be able to log into your cPanel, and you'll need that uh, once you click on this little link. So go ahead and write that down, or if you like, you could uh, do a copy-paste, uh, at least of the password. And just remember your login, Vivid Med for me. And uh, we can now click on the link. It'll bring you to a, uh, a, a login panel. And uh, so, and uh, then we can paste in our password and log in. If you want to avoid having to do that, you could probably get your browser to remember that password. All right, uh, here we are at our control panel, or cPanel. And here is where you can um, set up a variety of things, control the back end of your website. Again, this does not have anything to do with Joomla yet. This is the control panel of your website. And, for example, if you want to set up an email account associated with your new domain, you can do that here in the control panel. You scroll down and uh, look under the subtitle Mail, and there you are, Email Accounts. And you can go in here and uh, assign yourself an email address that is associated with your new domain. Give yourself a password. Maybe we'll just go ahead. Give myself a, a new email address here. And uh, you can set up how large a size you want to assign to any email address that you make here. Uh, if it's your primary, if it's going to be your primary uh, email from now on, you might want to change that to unlimited and then create account. All right, let's take a look at a couple of other things in your control panel that uh, you should know about. You, up here at the top, you have some links that are also available in your um, client portal, but some uh, great uh, how-to videos, how to work with uh, a control panel. If you get stumped as you click around in your control panel, just go to the how-to videos and uh, you'll find a large list of uh, video tutorials of how to work with your control panel. It's a great resource. 
um, special offers. You could buy a security certificate. Uh, you could set up a merchant account. And a lot of uh, goodies there. Search engine optimization tools. Uh, once you get your website built, you want to start uh, attracting traffic to your website. Uh, there's some tools there to help you do that. Some security issues. Uh, uh, we've looked at mail. There's a lot of different things that you can do with your mail account. You, you can set up a spam assassin. You can set up forwarding. Uh, a lot of different things you can do with your email there. Okay, let's look at files, uh, especially file manager. Here's a way where you can get into your account. If it's not already checked, you should check show hidden files. And here you'll see uh, as if you're looking at a directory on your computer, all of the files that are now placed already on your server are on your account on the server. And uh, these have been placed here by Pacific Host uh, to help you get ready to set up your, your website. You'll notice that public underscore HTML is highlighted, and that is the one that is showing over here in the right. And right now, you don't really have any files there at all. But this, this is where all of your website files will go once we start loading them in and adding to them. They will be in the folder called public underscore HTML. And we can actually use this file manager to upload files. Uh, we'll also show you other ways to get files into your uh, website account. But this is one way that you can do that. And the file manager doesn't really have a backlink to your uh, control panel. It's actually opened up a new window. If you go up to the tabs at the top of your browser, you should find uh, your control panel tab and then you're back. All right, uh, let's keep going down here. Uh, once your website is up for a month or two, you might want to check out uh, some of the statistics of uh, what kind of traffic that you're getting. And there's a lot of great tools here under logs. Uh, under domains, uh, let's say you, when you registered your account, besides getting the .com name, you also got the .net and the .info and the .biz uh, to kind of lock down that domain name. Uh, what you can do is once you have built your website, uh, you can go ahead and park those other domains so that if anybody types in .biz, you know, your domain .biz or your domain .info, it will automatically direct them to your .com site. And that's where you can do that. And uh, databases. This is something that we're going to visit in our next tutorial on how to make a database or a database uh, for your Joomla website. It is one of the uh, re first requirements that you need to do uh, when you're setting up a Joomla website is to, first of all, in Control Panel, you need to create a database, and we'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial. Well, that's a quick look at the cPanel. Remember how you can log in even before your domain may be resolving. Just go to your welcome email, click on the link there, plug in your password, and you are into your control panel. Once your domain name is working, just type in your domain name slash cPanel, and you'll be uh, presented with that login uh, dialog box to bring you to your control panel. All right, that's it for control panel.